Hi guys, I'm back. This time is about 2007 Audi A4 Turbo. Has 118,751 miles only. And as you see, I have these two lights on. It's, there's a traction control and ABS. So usually if there's something wrong with ABS on any electrical, the traction control will disable itself for whatever reason. So this time we're working on a front left wheel speed sensor. The reason is when I plug the computer on the scanner, out the scanner, it tells me the front left wheel speed sensor is bad. And also the ABS lights came on as well. So let's move on and replace this bad boy out. All right, this simple five things here that I have, uh, it's gonna be enough for me to replace this sensor. So it's just a little screwdriver and a wrench, torque wrench. You need that, that way you can set your proper torque on your wheels after you're done. And uh, of course, jack stand and a jack. So you don't have to have a, this type of jack. You can just use your regular jack that comes with the car. And jack stand, this is nothing expensive. And I'm sure everybody has that tool. So I'm not sure if everybody has a, a torque wrench. This is a real important tool to have if you're planning to work on your car, around your wheels, or anything like that that's required to set proper torque on them. So let's move on. Uh, we're gonna jack the car properly and put the jack stand under the jack or next to the jack, and then we'll lose the wheel and take them off the car. Before all that, I'm keeping emergency brake on. You make sure to have something under the wheels. Just double insurance, the car doesn't roll away. Let's move on. Now as you see, I jacked the car up. You can see point where I put my jack on. Then, then I put the jack stand under it. Just with extra insurance, make sure the car doesn't come down. Yeah, car is now up. One side. I have this air impact gun that I use usually, but you can use your regular tools. Put them kind of aside so they're not on your way while you're working. Roll the wheel away, put them also aside somewhere. Now as you see, the brake pads, they literally new, and the rotors, they don't look as bad. They're not in excellent condition, but uh, they are actually in good condition, so you can drive it for many more miles with that. And here is that bad boy that we need to take it out and replace it. Let's uh, move on, we'll lose this bolt out, and we'll disconnect them back here. Just basically follow it where is it going and then we'll just disconnect it. You see up here this cap it's gonna have to come out it's right there. We'll just disconnect that connector and you just follow it all the way around and you see where it goes. It's right over here too. A little bit tight in here. And I'm trying to get this into one hand as well. There you go. That's out. And it's come out of here too. There you go. That's out. That's pretty tight in there. Then, then there's the one more over here as you see so I pull them out of there too there you go making sure she didn't have another one there so you gotta get them out of it too. And then you see this has all this connector. Yeah. And then now we'll lose this little wrench. 
get this thing here. That's loose. But some of the cores, they come out pretty stuck. But uh, this one you can see came out relatively easy. Okay, now we're putting another one back on. On a core, as you see, I can set them back in that port, and then this will just go back in that hole. It's always good to start it from one point and go to another, from A to B. I don't have to over tight this neither. Just kind of snug enough that you can if you have to pull it out later again. That way you don't uh, strip them fighting to get it back. So as you see I insert that back in there. Have this little socket. So we just plug it back in that. Then you can make sure it's, it's clicked in. Then back here as you see you just follow this track and if you can see it just kind of stuff it back in there and uh, has that little however you want to call it the little socket right there because it clicks right in a little pocket for it that way it doesn't move and then this part you can't get it wrong because the way the way this is designed See, they have those little channels, and then this thing also has a little channel that will go right in. So, I'm thinking it will go this way. I'm holding the camera with one hand and then trying to use just one hand to plug this back in. So, Sure, you pack all back in. So that's how you actually put that in. So we are uh, now ready to put the uh, wheel back on. Right, guys I'm done with the replacement let's now test the car and see if this boy boy is gone so you see it still shows this ABS and traction control lights on so let's go for test drive it's supposed to reset itself and go away so hopefully we'll drive it a little bit see if it's gone. so you can see both lights are gone so thanks for watching guys that's how you replace the uh, uh, ABS speed sensor.